What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. Um, today I'm just gonna walk through with you guys, show you what I picked out from the Dollar Tree. And these items are for homeschooling, crafting, um, fun type items for your schoolroom. Um, so also these are actually for gifts, but yeah, I'll show you. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you are reminded any time that I upload a new video and do not forget to hit that like. I will totally appreciate it. I will? I would. I would appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so let's just jump right in. So this one you guys have seen before for sure. It is a chart. I am going to use this for my daughter. Um, I also got these little, what are they? Word strips. I'm losing my mind, guys. Okay, so these are word strips. And what I was thinking, we do the Abeka curriculum. So she's given 15 words every week for her new spelling words. So I usually have her write them on flashcards, which I still may have her do. I haven't thought that far. Um, and then she has a spelling list that she does. And then every Friday she has a test. So what I was thinking, I think this is a great idea. What I was thinking is on the day that she gets her new list, I believe that's Mondays, um, I'm gonna have her write the names, write the names, write the words, you guys. I'm gonna have her write the words across the strips and then I am going to have her put them in her little pocket chart and I'm gonna hang it up on the wall for her. And so she has that to look at all day long. Now when the test comes, obviously I will take that chart down so she will not be taking a peek at the word strips. But I thought that this would be really cool and I don't know, I thought it would be fun for her. So this comes with 30 pieces. Oh, 30 pieces, that's only two weeks worth. You know what I may do, you guys? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna laminate these bad boys. That way, when she writes on them, we can wipe them off. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I have a great idea with these beads. Um, in her history right now, in her Rebecca curriculum, she is learning about the settlers and stuff like that, you know, pioneering and stuff like that. So what I did to kind of make it more fun and hands-on, they had these like little bear or stuffed animal toy things that have like strings and you use like you go like this and the beads I don't even know how to explain it but I will post it right here it'll be wait right here or right here <laughs> something like that okay so I'll show you guys so you'll see what I'm talking about but I was thinking about having her make one of those um and you need beads so I'm hoping that these work so I got them for that I saw these super cute, yes, I know it's Christmas stuff already, you guys. Seriously, Thanksgiving's not even here. Halloween's not even here. We don't really celebrate Halloween, but still, it's not here yet. Um, so I found these little manipulatives that I'm gonna use. Well, they're not manipulatives. What are they? They're felt stickers for like crafting, but I'm gonna use them for manipulatives for my nephew when we're like counting and stuff. I thought that that would be fun around Christmas time. Oh, okay, so I got this um, natural jute, jute, jute? I don't even know what this stuff is called. Everybody says, I think it's jute. That's how you pronounce it, jute cord. So this is also what I'm gonna use for that little stuffed toy. Um, okay, who out there has been to the DT lately? Dollar Tree is coming up, you guys, on their crafting section. It is so cool. I will have a um, another video up. I'm not sure if I'm posting it before this video or after this video, but it's a shop with me, and I show you guys what they have in their crafting area. It's amazing. I felt like I was in Michael's for a second. I mean, kind of not really. You know what I'm saying, though. So my kids love doing crafts okay and i also have my nephew three days out of the week for preschool or pre-k and um so i found these cool little look it's a cat <laughs> so cute 
and then a doggy. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Okay, and this week he's actually working on the letter C. So I was thinking that I will have him paint the kitty. I think that that will be so fun. He'll be super excited. He loves cats because he has a kitty named Kia and he just adores her. So hopefully he'll paint her like Kia. But um, so I'll have him do this this week and then next week we're doing D. So I'll have him do the dog. Okay. So I also saw this dinosaur, you guys. Look at that, isn't that nice? So they had another one, but it was like on a board. It sat on a board. And I just thought that this one was so cool. Look at that, you guys. So I was thinking we can also do this because we have three days. Don't mind the bunnies, they're being cuckoo. It's late, that's what they do. Um, so we have three days a week, so we work on the same letter for three days. So he could do this one of the days. When he does D, he could do dog, and then he could do his dinosaur. And then because my daughter will be here doing her curriculum and we're gonna be having so much fun painting and stuff, I'll probably let her take a break and she can paint her little jaguar. You guys, she loves jaguars, okay? Um, I'm not sure if this is a jaguar or it could be like a female lion or something, but we're gonna pretend it is a jaguar because she loves jaguars. That's her favorite animal. But look at how cool these are, you guys, from the dollar store. Um, also, I got these little gingerbread man kits. I'm gonna have them do this when it gets closer to Christmas just for a little craft, little fun day. Let's see here, what else do I have? Oh, okay. I have hair in my mouth. Okay, so the chart that I was telling you guys about that my daughter's gonna be doing her spelling words on, my room in here is pretty full with, um, I have my sister's bunnies that I'm boarding for the summer and then like my school room is just full. The walls are all full, I have my TV up out here because my daughter does video led, partly video led, partly mama led. Um, so my, um, my doors to our backyard are like French doors with glass. So I was gonna hang these little suction hooks on it and then I was gonna hook the chart onto that because we don't have available wall space. So that is what I'm doing with these. Scrunchies are totally in again. I remember when scrunchies were in when I was a kid and now they are back. Yeah, they're back. So I got her, let's open this up. One is black, it's kind of see-through. I also got her this pretty little purple one. Isn't that cute? I thought it was cute because it's see-through. I don't know, hopefully she likes them. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump into what I got for Christmas gifts. They're the start of Christmas gifts. I'm not sure if I'm doing them as stocking stuffers or if, and all of our kids know the truth about stocking. <laughs> okay, so um, these are going to be for my daughter and then three of my nieces. So my daughter usually does some sewing with my husband's mom, so her grandma, and then one of my nieces does it with her other grandma, and then my two other nieces go to a class and learn how to sew from a teacher. So. I thought that this was so cool that the Dollar Tree has all of these cool items. Now, again, I will link my video down below so you can see what's there, you guys. It is crazy. Um, so they had these little detailing scissors. Uh-oh, there's like, I don't know, material on it. See how cool? Okay, those are super sharp. I will be like, sit down, don't move. Don't move. Don't move like that because look at those you guys that's kind of scary now that I'm thinking about it <sighs> the youngest that will have these will be so one's she'll be seven mine will be eight one of them will be almost nine and one of them will be 11 so the 11 year old I'm not too worried about now the other three I don't know I'll be like don't sit next to each other okay moving on I'm rambling Okay, so I got those scissors for part of their kit, okay? I'm putting together like a little sewing kit for them because they're beginners at sewing and I thought that that would be so awesome. So I still wanna get them some sort of carrier or bag. I'll just, wait, okay, I'll show you guys. 
I'm super excited. So they had these little finger protectors, which are like little um, thimbles, I guess you could say. They're little rubber, hot pink, how cute. Oh man, are they gonna fit their little fingers, guys? I don't know, their fingers, their fingers will grow. <laughs> so I got four of those. Aren't they cool though? I cannot believe that the Dollar Tree has this type of stuff, you guys. I was like on the floor like, what? Okay, and then they have these piercing and scoring tools. Look at those. Those are another sharp object that I'm now rethinking. Now, are these used for sewing, you guys? If you know, comment down below because I am not a sewer. I do not know how to sew. I wish, I wish I knew how to sew. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so I don't know if these are even used for sewing, but I think that they are. I think that they are for like leather or something. I think, I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below. Don't forget. Don't forget to comment down below. So I got four of those. What are these used for this side? If they are for sewing, what is that? What is that used for? Again, comment down below, let me know. So these are again are called piercing and scoring and they come with two, they have little caps on them, everything. Okay, so, okay, so next, well, this is pretty much the end of it, I think. Is this the end of it? It is, I hate that. I hate the ending of my hauls because I'm like, I wanna see more. Okay, so I got the fabric. Okay, so I know that they have had fabric there for a while. So I got each of them a cupcake and then each of them just the red. I was hoping, I only saw one pink and I didn't wanna get three of the girls red and then one of them pink. You know how girls are, they're like, why is she in the pink? Why is she in the red? Why is she in the cupcake? You know how it is? I mean, I hope you guys know how it is. I hope it's not just our kids. <laughs> My faint fair, guys. We're trying to teach them that. So anyways, so that's what I got them. So they got the fabric, they got the scissors, the thimbles, and those little tools. And then like I was saying a minute ago, I wanted to get them like one of those little um, needle, what are they called? Pin, push pin, push pin pillows or something. I wanna find really cute ones from somewhere. I also wanna get like a fabric, you know, one of the um, measuring tapes for them. I wanna get some sort of carrier for them. I just think that'll be so cute. Some push pins with like the little plastic, um, you know, beads on the end so they don't hurt themselves and maybe like a set of needles. I don't know, I'm kind of excited for them to learn. Maybe they'll teach me someday. Yeah, that'd be awesome, they could be my teacher. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I don't even know if I've said that already. Um, but yeah, I totally and appreciate, totally and appreciate. I totally appreciate you guys. I truly, truly do from my heart. Every time I get a new subscriber, I'm like, <gasps> yay. I know, I. you know it's funny? I'm rambling, but that's okay. If you guys don't wanna watch, you don't have to, it's okay. Um, but. When I first started this journey on YouTube, I was kind of, I mean, I knew I could do it, but I wasn't sure. And talking to a phone is really hard at first because you feel stupid, especially out in public. Oh my gosh, you guys. But now that I actually have some people following me, it's kind of like you guys are friends without me seeing. It's really weird. I don't even know. That sounds so weird. I don't even know but comment down below so then I could interact with you guys. Uh-oh, my bracelet's falling apart. Cause that's what I want, I wanna interact. I wanna hear who, you know, what you guys like, what you guys don't like, what works, what doesn't work. Um, yeah, tell me about those tools though. I really am wondering about that. I may even have to look it up cause if no one comments, I really wanna know. Cause I'm gonna feel dumb giving it to them and they bring it to their class, especially with the grandmas, they aren't gonna care. But the class, how embarrassing. They'll be like, look what my aunt got me. Let me know, what is that? That's for beating or something crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now guys. Thanks again and be blessed always.